Welcome back to Piers Morgan Uncensored. It really is going to get a bit uncensored here. OnlyFans has become a digital phenomenon. There's 190 million users and 3 million so-called creators who mostly use the space to upload X-rated photographs and videos of themselves for their subscribers. And it's big business, very big business, raking in $5 billion a year. Well, Ellie Brooke, who makes six to seven figures per month on the site, describes it as empowering. But after years of fighting back against the objective use of women in newspapers, magazines, and as chili as in sport, isn't it just, well, a bit of a backward step? Well, joining me now is OnlyFans creator L. Brooke. I did ask her and then got it wrong, didn't I? Yeah. I'm the host of the Blair White Project, Blair White, over in uh, the States. So welcome to both of you. All right, L. Now, tell me about yourself. Yeah. What were you before you did this? Um, I was a law student, um, and now I'm a TikTok. A university? Coach. Yeah, University Uni of Southampton. So Did you graduate? Have... Or? No, no, no. I dropped out to do OnlyFans because I was making a lot of money. So I was like, why am I doing so you're reading? Studying, studying to be a, lo a lawyer? Yes. And then you start doing OnlyFans while you're at university? Yes. What made you get into it? Because I saw how much money other people were earning. And I was thinking, hey, I can do this too. And then it turns out I'm pretty good at getting my clothes off. And I was like, this is a career for no, me. No, see, OK. Look, I've nothing against you. I don't, I'm not taking a moral view here, right? You can do what the hell you like if it's legal. Uh, I'm just disappointed that someone like you, who's obviously got a great brain, yeah. training to be a law student at university, decides to pack it all in to just take your clothes off for, for perfect strangers on OnlyFans. Why? Because I wouldn't have made loads of money as a solicitor anyway. Like, I would have earned money, yes, but I earned that in two weeks now. And I earned that throughout... How much do you make? I mean, how much money do you make? I earn a lot. How much do you make? Maybe, like, double that? <laughs> well, I, I, we won't get into what I earn, but what do you earn? I, I earn a lot of money. Well, like, give me a I, number. Well, I don't want to give a specific number, but I, I'm 0.01 on OnlyFans, so I'm as top as it gets. What does that mean? It means you are the best of the best. 0.01 percent. Best of the best of what? Any fans creators in monetary terms. Why are you so good? Because I'm really good looking. Right. And original. We're certainly not get... shy, are you? No, I know I'm good at what I do. I'm not going to harangue I... you for being cocky because that would be ridiculous coming from me. But um, all right, well let me go to to Blair here. I mean, Blair, look on the face of it, isn't this really what feminist empowerment's all about? A woman in control of her body doing what she wants with it, making a huge amount of money. Isn't it entirely down to Elle, what she decides to do? It absolutely is up to Elle to do whatever she wants to do in her professional career. And I don't have any issue with adults doing what they want, entering sex work. However, unfortunately, I think the way in which OnlyFans is often discussed in public makes it out to be this quick get rich scheme. It reeks of a pyramid scheme. And oftentimes young girls find themselves following this fool's gold rush and not really understanding the consequences of it. So here's some information that I feel like young girls should arm themselves with. The average registered OnlyFans creator makes only $180 a month. That's the average. So we're not discussing L in that, obviously, but that is the average. Making about $2,500 a month puts you in the top 1%, which adds up to $15 an hour, which is the same or less than McDonald's pays. So oftentimes, these young girls find themselves, you know, entering sex work, thinking that it's going to be financially, you know, beneficial for them, and they end up making less than a fast food worker, but they still take on the entire stigma of being involved in sex work and oftentimes can't find employment after Afterwards. So my only issue is people doing these things without having, you know, themselves armed with the information. And I okay. think everyone I mean, should look, know what them... Their... Yeah, I mean, look, you make some good points there. I mean, what do your family think of this? I mean, they must be incredibly disappointed, surely, that you backed in a potentially really successful career as a lawyer to yeah. do this. Yes, my dad is dead and my mum is on my payroll. My family are Your mum's on your payroll? My mum is on my payroll. In what, she doing what? Um, admin. What does that mean? It's just behind the scenes work. She doesn't do anything rude or anything. So she loves you doing this? It, well, she doesn't praise it at the pub like, woohoo, my daughter does OnlyFans, but she's supportive. She knows that I'm over 18, I can do what the hell I want. And she knows that, you know, her views can't like impact my life. What is she gonna do? You're grounded because you do OnlyFans. Like, what the hell? It's 2023. People can do what the hell they want. No, no, don't get me wrong. I totally subscribe to that. And we, we the show. Oh, you subscribe? Uh, I don't subscribe to you, <laughs> but uh, um, I haven't bestowed you that honour yet. No, but the, look, I, I think this show's called Uncensored. You can do what the hell you like, right? I don't care. But I, I'm just curious about you being someone who embarked on a 
a law career, mm. was obviously very bright, went to university, packed it in just for money to be effectively an online stripper. I mean, that's what you do, right? Yeah. Way worse than an online stripper. But, um, what do you mean, way worse? <laughs> way worse. Online strippers just, you know, naked. I do things that are way more grotesque well, than just that. pornography? Pornography, anything. But it's all within what I want to do, and I absolutely love it, and I'm really good at it. You know, I could be a good lawyer, yes, but also am I good at doing other things on video and camera? How would yes. you feel when you want to have kids yourself? Well, I mean, that's... I, I don't really want kids right now. But, but you will do. How old are you? 25. Right, so you will do at some stage, probably, right? Maybe. When you do, are you going to be proud that you have your little ones and they look at you and go, didn't you want to be a lawyer, Mummy? What happened? Yeah. And you go, here, yeah, but look at all my stuff. They can cry in a Ferrari. You see, there will be... <laughs> I know there will be people watching this, younger people, cheering you on, going, yeah, girl, <laughs> you go, well. And there'll yeah. be other people going, what, what, are you, what are you sounding like? You sound yeah. awful, grotesque. It's like... Why, why go down this road? You've obviously yeah. you could be doing something so much better yeah. for the world than this, couldn't you? No, I've been so um, like sexually open since I was at school, and if you met anyone in my year group, they would be like, "You were absolutely made to do this." And I think if you put your mind to something, then you can absolutely achieve it. Like, look at me with a little bit of good looks and hard work, you can All right. become a millionaire. Blair, look. You know, play devil's not, advocate, like uh, Blair. I mean, look, you know, we, I saw you rolling your eyes, but the bottom line well, is it's... she's making millions doing what she enjoys doing. Um, well, she's it's, clearly it's very, important... pop very popular. I mean, who are we to be too prudish about it, frankly? It's nothing to do with Al, but I think it's important to state that it's not just about having good looks and a little bit of work ethic, because oftentimes, like I just said, you could be incredibly good looking in OnlyFans and only bring in $180 a month yeah. and still take on the entire stigma of doing sex work. So while it's important to you know say that everyone can do what they want, we do have to acknowledge that Al is the exception, not the rule. And oftentimes these young girls, sometimes on their 18th birthday, are being misled into joining this site that completely demolishes any prospects of future employment for them and often statistically any chances of having relationships a lot of only fans girls are actually regretting being on the website coming forward and saying they can't get a job now and they can't get a date and they never even made the money to justify doing well, it that's so, a, that's a good i'm so point. happy for l but that's the exception to okay the rule. yeah let me ask you on that point i mean do you have a, a man or not you want a man uh, no i'm single at the moment but can i just point out that people fail at jobs all the time like just because you didn't make it as an actor do you regret being an actor like so many companies go busk Busk mm. and like what flat Burger point? Right. If you fail at OnlyFans, you've done porn. Sorry. I said, but if you fail at McDonald's, you didn't flip a burger correctly for a customer. If you fail at OnlyFans, there's videos and pictures of you having sex or being naked on the internet forever. There's you much You make that choice. It's not like loads of people fail. No, I know, you but you should make the choice naked, armed then you with the information. But you should be armed results. with the information, is what I'm saying. You do what make does it say, though, Elle? I mean, honestly, we've got to wrap it up. But what does it say about society where a bright young woman like you... Yeah. Right, decides to abandon a career in a fantastic career as a lawyer to do this just because it's making you money online. What does it say about the way society's gone? That I'm successful no matter what I do. I'd be successful as anything. It just are you, are you turns proud of it? Are you proud of it, though? Yeah, of course really? I am. Of course I am. Look More than me. you would be Through as a lawyer? OnlyFans, I'm, I box, I have a big social presence, I have everything, and OnlyFans was my gateway to become this influencer that I am now. But I absolutely am proud of that. who wants to be an influencer, really? What does it who mean? Who wants to... Have you met any... any maybe not OnlyFans, but any kid I find at all influencers, influencers pretty shallow people. I've yeah. got to be honest. Because thought... they think they're great influencing on people, but most of them aren't. They're a bad influence. I feel like now you've been to platform, you're kind of an influencer. Really? Yeah, in I'd what say way? so. I don't know. Just you could have any views online and post them when you're an influencer. That's true. That that has me as you. That's true. But I, I, see, myself as a, I see myself as a journalist. It was a career I yeah. always wanted to do. You would have been a lawyer yeah. if you hadn't taken this path. I reckon I'll yeah. interview again in 15 years. Yeah. And you'll say, you know what, Piers, you were right. I'll pick you up in my Bugatti. OK. Well, it'll be one or the other. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. And thank you, Blair. Appreciate you joining me. Thanks Thank you very much. Me.